Hey guys, it's been over a week since I did my last update, so I thought I would update you on some of the things that are going on right now. Um, so I'm finishing up a video that I kind of started uh, called the MacBook Air uh, Battlefield 3 Gaming Review. Um, now this is going to be interesting because this is going to be one of my first videos that's actually going to show me like kicking ass and doing really well in Battlefield 3. Um, and the point of this video is not just to be a gaming test, but to also be kind of like a let's play. So I'll, I'll teach you guys some cool things about Battlefield. I'll show you some of the strategies I've used. I'll talk about, you know, how, how much I like the game and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, but it'll be a fairly long video. Uh, and the emphasis in this video is to really kind of show you that, yes, you can play games for an extended period of time without, you know, making the MacBook Air crash or burn up or heat up or too much. Cause a lot of people, you guys really do worry about the heat and the noise of these laptops. And while they do tend to make some noise, MacBook Air in particular having to be one of the more louder, noisier ones, um, you guys worry too much about that. And I just wanted to show you that you don't need to. Um, another really cool thing I want you guys to know. Um, so I haven't really been doing as many gaming tests lately, but I'm actually gonna go back to my roots and, and, and do more of those uh, types of videos. Uh, if you take a look here on, on Steam here, I wanna show you, I bought, I'm, well, I'm about to buy a ridiculous amount of games, about $300 worth of games just for you guys, uh, cause you're awesome. So if you look here, it starts off with Portal 2, Shadow of Mordor, uh, Shivam, I know you wanted me to play that one for a long time. I'm doing this for you, man. Got some Lego World, Spin Tires, Rocket League. Some of you guys have asked for these. Metro. Uh, I really don't want to have to buy Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, but you guys want me to do it and it's expensive, but I'll do it anyway. Same thing with Black Ops 3. There's probably two of the games I probably hate the most, but I know you guys want me to do it, so I'll buy it for you guys. Um, and then the Fallout series, which I'm actually somewhat interested in myself, so that'll be kind of cool. Um, so I uh, wanted to keep you guys in the loop. I, I'm also working on a few other videos that are kind of experimental that I should be releasing throughout this week to kind of see um, how things go. And I'm gonna actually do more tutorials as well. Uh, a lot of people keep asking me the same questions. I'm gonna see if I can somehow find a way to take all those questions and streamline them into one big video. So uh, if I haven't addressed what you guys have asked in this particular video, leave a comment down below, like if you wanted me to make a video about something. Um, Zach, I haven't forgotten about you, man. I know you want uh, to know how to install an external hard drive, um, basically Windows, and I'm gonna see if I can get that done tonight, just for you, man. Uh, and, and, and I know there's a few of you who wanted me to get a few other things done. Just remind me again in this video if I haven't mentioned what you know you wanted me to do in this vid, so. I'm also gonna be releasing a, another video with the, with another Belkin cooler on the MacBook Pro this time, because I've tested the Air, tested the 12 inch MacBook, both. It kind of works for them, it's useful, very useful for the 12 inch, not so useful for the Air. And uh, for the Pro, uh, you're not gonna like this, but you'll see it in the video, but you're, you're just not gonna like it. There's the results on the, on the MacBook Pro with the laptop cooler, just they're not good. Anyways, stay tuned for that video though. I want you to see what, what's going on with that. I'm gonna explain why and all that kind of stuff. Also the Dell XPS video, the review, uh, the full review of that laptop, I'm still working on it. I want it to be the best review I've ever done yet. So I have to watch every single Dell XPS review out there and make sure that I study their techniques and find better, newer ways to improve what they're saying, but with a, with a twist of my own. So stay tuned for that guys. I look forward to chilling with you on the internet. Bye.